Hey guys, this is your host Neo Hack, and I'm back with a brand new custom room review. And this time, the room we will be reviewing is USB extended room that is installed on my Raider My Note 3, aka Kenzo. So, without further ado, let's go to the About phone settings option, and there you can see all the information about USB extended. For example, you can see the team names and the GitHub links and change logs. So here you can see the about us option which I already showed you. Here is a change log which you can get for your USB extended room. Of course, uh, this build is an Android version 7.1.1. Let's go back and we'll be going to the main screen. And this is a, these are the launcher settings which uh, I will be showing you. So let's go to the wallpaper section and here you can see all the different categories which are available for the wallpapers. For an example, I will show you the cityscapes. Here are the cityscapes. However, it would be asking me for downloading the wallpapers. So yes, I will continue it and let's let me download the wallpapers. You can see the clarity of the wallpapers are pretty good and myself, I am a wallpaper fanatic. So I love this option. Let's go back to the another section that is lights. The wallpapers are pretty amazing uh, if you see in all the sections. Let's go back and here is the Google Pixel like search option which you can see. Further, what you would be seeing is the widget option. Here are all the widgets for the applications and some inbuilt widgets which are already there. So it's pretty handy feature and it never changes in any of the Android versions. Okay, so we will uh, see some tile option over here. I will show you the tiles, the status bar. Let's see that. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Okay, here, is, here are the tiles and this is the running services option which you can get over here. It's pretty cool shortcut which you have got. But then again, we will go to the settings menu. Uh, that's where uh, all the different options are available for customization. So here are you can see that there are some basic options which you get in all the custom rooms, and even in Lineage OS. So these are the basic options: wireless and networks, and data and everything. So let's go to the extension option. Uh, extension option is pretty much all the customizations you can see. So clock and date option which is there, of course battery option which is battery customizations. You can see the charging symbol and everything. Uh, for the traffic indicators, it would be mentioning your data speed, carrier label options. Then if you go ahead, that is a ticker option, ticker customization, it would be uh, pretty pretty much good if you use that. It has got much optimizations. If you go back, you can see the ticker colors. I have chose green color. These are miscellaneous extensions. Double tap to sleep and everything. Breathing miss calls, breathing voicemail, brightness control, uh, breathing SMS. Pretty much cool options which you can get over here. Okay, now we go to the notifications panel. Here is quick settings. You can see all the quick settings uh, related to tiles also. Right, so you can see that toggle options, due to this toggle option, custom header image. So it has got uh, pretty much customization over here now. So we're just enabling it and uh, seeing it. But I guess I have done something wrong and it is not enabling it. Uh, let's not go there, but I, I just wanted to show you all the customization uh, with this room has got so you already got running services icon I don't know why it is off but then you already got that now we come to notifications quick pull down and everything power indication uh, power notification controls uh, it's pretty handy of course expanded notification disable uh, immersive mode messages flashlight notification and everything let's go to the navigation bar it has pretty much very good options it has also got the fling option which is my favorite actually you can get that in the option when you want the enable navigation bar you can get the navigation view and here are the fling options 
it's pretty much you can see the navigation bar now right so you can customize the fling and you can go ahead but i don't want it just now but it's my favorite option so far let's go to the recent ui here's the recent ui immersive and speaker button show memory bar of course you can see the memory bar over here you can see on the left hand side see there so that's pretty cool let's go back in the settings option and uh, we'll continue the extensions menu where I left so we're in recent now clear button and uh, clear location then we go to the lock screen there's a lock screen UI option which you can get over here double tap to sleep and anywhere lock screen touch fingerprint authentication vibration I don't want that actually but it is not I hate it <laughs> so lock screen charging info it's pretty cool show weather info get ready again it's very cool it's being really helpful actually <clears throat> for the weather notifications so you can choose any of the you know, weather provider and that's pretty amazing the your options which you can Now we go to the system, the general tweaks which are available. You can see all the options, disable apps notifications that is also uh, already there. This is pretty handy, uh, which I like actually. Three finger screenshots. See, I just did it. Three finger screenshot, I just tried it. And uh, suspend actions, screenshot type. Now there is another option which you can get that is drag selection on the area you want to take so you can just uh, take a screenshot and then you can drag actually the whole screen uh, from the start to end from which you want uh, the screenshot from till where so toast icon again yes that's pretty handy so these are the general tweaks which you can get screenshot delay wake lock so I will, I'm pretty trying to do the screenshot thing, but I think it is not happening for me. <laughs> this is a suspended, suspend actions actually, suspended. So further going, let's see the blur option. I actually don't have an idea about this option, but I need to dig in uh, pretty much and then I can see much about this option. I have not tried it yet so far. I actually don't use this option. These are the buttons option, power menu, do not disturb, switch, volume, this control, volume. You can see the power option now here. So you can include all those options when you press the power button. There are many options available. Volume rocker, navigations button, back button, home button. You can actually customize all the things which you want. Just give an overview on all the so I'm going slow because you guys can actually see all the options which are available in the particular menu. Now we go in the buttons. Oh sorry, I got the button option again. Animations actually. So disable animations. I can I always prefer that. Scrolling catch when the actively open animations. You can always select the animations over here. Uh, if you like your phone to be fancy kind of thing and to show off, and these are pretty options pretty cool customizations this is a privacy guard option which you can get you can see all the options in privacy guard personal messages you can actually uh, give permissions to the particular applications so coming back this is uh, this is pretty cool i like this side plan so we went the super su access actually flash the super su I don't, I don't remember actually it was there or not. So display, as usual, the night light. I don't think it works very good, but then I feel it or night light actually. So the cast option is there for the Chromecast thing. When devices and this is a new option which I saw in this custom. I don't know if uh, this option is available in other 
customs or not but when the device is in india it gives an option immediately using a, a virtual reality device i will give a notification option you can manage the notifications over here sound pretty much the same So you can see you can uh, unlink the notification sound the main one. So this is pretty much sound option over here. Other sounds I just disable it all because I don't like it. I, I, I like my phone to be silent and not vibrating at any time. Notifications are good. This is the storage option. battery battery the battery life of this phone let, let me tell you the battery backup is pretty much pretty good and it's almost last like 11 12 hours so you can see that approximately 10 hours but, but yeah one day is uh, it's the best uh, this phone can do man i cannot expect more than that it's a gesture option but i guess this is the last option uh, which i can show you because it's the end of the customization extension option this is pretty much the, the the other things are the same as the lineage os which you can get but this is the extra, extra customization which you can get in the usb extended room so overall if i read this room it is like uh, four out of five and you can use this as a daily drivers of course view lte is working so you can use this room until the next review guys just if you like my video just give a thumbs up can ask me anything any question about this room in the comment section and just destroy the like button and i will be back with a new customer